Last time, we ordered parts to build an AM radio transmitter so we can get phone audio over the car's speaker. We realize it would be simple to just cut out the AM radio system completely, but this project is all about adaptive reuse. We're trying to preserve everything about the car that doesn't need to be replaced. With our plan, the radio will still work. The question we want to answer with this project is, can some friends who have various professional backgrounds but are not electrical engineers or mechanics figure out enough by reading the right materials and tinkering enough to build a working EV? EV conversion videos are generally created for an audience of EV conversion nerds. That's all well and good, unless, like us, you're trying to figure out where to even begin. That sort of video can be overwhelming to newbies, so we're trying to over-document our journey, including our embarrassing mistakes. Frankly, if you've done an EV conversion before, you'll probably think we're boring and doing stuff wrong. and that's okay because well we probably are so we've got all of our parts here um this is the crystal oscillator which uh broadcasts at one megahertz this is the audio transformer i don't know what the fuck it does it transforms the audio yeah. yes oh well, thank you yes i think well, and I, so this is apparent. going to be an autobot right <laughs> <laughs> we've got mad scientist mic here yeah uh now what a transformer does moving current goes through the coil, turns into a magnetic field, goes into the other magnetic field, turns into an, in, into an electrical current. This comes out of your audio, right? And all it does is run through this, which has a certain resistance, right? And then this has a different resistance. And then you add on to the wiggle from the oscillator, you add the tiny little wiggle that comes out of the audio signal. So you're yep. uh, modulating mm -hmm. the amplitude. Uh, which is so why they call it AM radio, because yeah. it stands for morning, it's AM. Okay. My question actually with the oscillator, and I couldn't find this out anywhere, is how do you know what fucking voltage it takes? Oh, uh, I don't fucking know. Well, the, it's just the a circuitry. Of, uh, it's just a hunk of quartz. Yeah, it so, may just not matter. Yeah. Eventually we want to hook this up to the 12 volt DC system of the car. Yeah. Um, and you don't think that that'll fuck the oscillator up? Oh, I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah, so, keep a fire okay. extinguisher on okay. They depict a center tap here. Um, and I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to read this. Did you have any other documentation? This guide is from the 90s, and they, yeah. they ask for specific Radio Shack parts that don't exist don't anymore. Exist no. That's really um, the only... Oh, oh ah, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's the low resistance, the low impedance side. We probably want that on the audio. Yeah, uh, or wherever they put it. Actually, it goes, um... Well, I'm just considering because generally audio signals are very weak. Yeah, no, but um, but high impedance again oh, uh, is fine. Yeah, right? see it that. goes on the transmitter side, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm making sure that is the positive. Okay, there we go. So, so you're positive. I am positive. It's the first time anyone's ever made that joke. My technique will be under scrutiny. <laughs> no, okay, that is going to be a thing, though. So there was someone on the chat yesterday who didn't like the way Dave operated the clutch. Well, no, there's no way you don't try <laughs> manual with two yeah. feet. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Especially in the Acti, where the uh, steering column is between, yeah. <laughs> the, well, between the clutch and the brake, right? Yeah. It, so you can't, can't move really your knee. I'm here for so. the fumes. Solder vape. Something I've learned is um, that you want to uh, actually be doing the task you're explaining while you're explaining it and not finish before you start explaining it, so we got to start over again. So <laughs> uh, something I have learned taking apart a lot of insect brains is to help with fine motor control what you what you want to do is have your hand act as kind of a uh, a lever you brace it against something and uh, do all of the movement with your fingers like a fencer like you know uh, is not gonna move their whole arm they're gonna move just their wrist and the same kind of thing but one step down you know um, you could use the human multimeter for this as well the tongue yep Alright, should we go test it out? Yeah, let's do it. There's a switch on the right. Star Trek into darkness. Oh, and we need to plug it yeah, in somewhere. Yep. That's another thing we need to fix. We need to get this to stay. <laughs> oh, you fucker. We're at 999, which is close enough to 1000. It sounds like when we plug in the battery, it sounds like it's working. Do we have something that can play audio? Yes. Do you have the package? I'm gonna play the video. Well, that's not gonna show up on the radio. <laughs> I'm gonna play a recording of video this radio. radio. <laughs> Why are you doing this to us? It's I already been that... in the first two videos. I <laughs> no, this is such a it's such a good bit. The question is gonna be whether we get the volume we want and everything. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, I, I'm pretty certain it's not. We're not going to get the volume we want out of this, no matter what. It's going to well, sound no, like shit. That's not what I mean. I mean, just like <laughs> whether it's audible. Audible. Or yes. Oh, uh, that know. definitely made a noise. Moment of truth. Um, it should be making noise. I'm hearing something. Okay. Yeah. yeah get closer to the speakers. And if that doesn't work, maybe move the antenna closer to the car's antenna, which is like... There is something okay. coming through. It's just very weak. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, so we've got it really close 20, to the antenna 20% now. success. So last time we failed to ground our circuit, which may have affected the performance of our transmitter. All the way up. Yeah, it is. It's definitely getting something because it's making noise when we plug and unplug it. Yeah, I can hear a little bit of speech-like sound. Maybe you can grab on the antenna oh, yeah. and make yourself part of the antenna. It's definitely It is working. There. Yeah. It's just not loud enough. And, uh, and you'll, you'll, have, you'll have better luck with it. So what's the part we need to accomplish? I guess, I guess Transformers kind of look like go goatsy when you grow them out. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing is you have this coming out of the, os of the oscillator at a certain voltage, and then you are adding um, you know, the, the audio wiggle to it, right? That'll modulate mm -hmm. this. If this voltage is too low, then it's gonna get swamped out by this. But that is the thing, no, I really thought it was funny that the circuit diagram had the high impedance side uh, on the side that comes out of the headphone jack, because that, that didn't make sense. It doesn't drive a whole lot of current. In the helpful liner notes, which we neglected to read and jump right to the circuit diagram, um, they said, yeah, no, uh, you know, if you're running it from a Walkman or, you know, something that would have been rather unconventional as a source of audio when that was written, uh, uh, just flip the tran just flip the transformer around. So we're just gonna flip it around and see if that works better. Yeah, works. It sounds like feedback, but it isn't. It's actually the sound we're generating over the transmitter. So this is our horn. For <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, listen to that voice. I have to get in closer to you so the light helps. Sorry. Yeah, you can okay. see this. This light does nothing. That's encouraging. That's pretty good. Yeah, I can tell what they're fucking saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. I mean, that's Holy the best shit. that I can say about it. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so it works about as well as it possibly could be expected to, which is to say it is an improvement over what is currently available in the car. Um, is it objectively good? <laughs> you can distinguish words spoken in a human language over it. Um, what else is good to say about it? It was cheap as shit. We're never gonna spend 120 bucks for a ready rad. Don't sue us, ready rad. Mike, just to sum up how we solved this problem. Uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, I read the manual. Yeah, uh, it's not literally the Star Trek thing of reverse the polarity, but it, it's pretty close. It, we reversed the polarity at minute 40 in a Star Trek episode where Trip Tucker or Geordi the Forge has a breakthrough and realizes, oh, they've got it plugged in the wrong way.